And plans are underway for an overhaul of Taiwan's property taxation system, which would include a joint tax on building and land sales. But the proposal faces a backlash from some lawmakers and realtors who worry that strategies to stabilize high housing prices could send investors elsewhere. While the proposal to jointly tax building and land is still in the discussion stage, there is evidence that owners are already seeking to avoid payment. Among the loopholes being used are transactions that involve passing luxury property from one family member to another. According to the Ministry of Finance plan, the combined tax would be progressive in nature, with rates of 5 to 45 percent. For example, gains of 10 million NT dollars would be taxed at the maximum 45 percent. If you tax too heavily, it is like killing the chicken to get the eggs. It wouldn't help society. More careful thought is needed. We are still listening to public opinions. We want to achieve this goal, but it could be carried out in phases. A realtor said that too high of taxes could lead capital to flee Taiwan. If rate of return on investment is higher in other nations, or if taxes are lower, consumers or investors will buy property overseas. Capital could move to neighboring Southeast Asian nations. The ministry believes the tax reform could be a powerful tool in stabilizing Taiwan's property market. But without supplementary policies, the reform could lead to little additional tax revenues and loss of investment.